Uh, a few years ago, you know, a friend of mine, Philip Prince, we were, we'd always meet for lunch. I was talking about possibly planting a church. He was talking about starting a, a basketball ministry. And one day he said to me, why don't we do it together? Because I, I kind of paused. I was, and I just thought, mm. I basically gave him the cliche church answer. Let me pray about that. <laughs> Because in my mind at that moment, I couldn't imagine what that looked like. But that, I did, I went home and I thought about it and I prayed and I thought, you know, that's a very unique thing to do. And for him, it was a particular unique way to do ministry in order to fish for people to make disciples. And so eventually we came back together and I, and I said, let's do it. You know, we need a church that meets people at the ark, meaning like the three point line. And Philip looked at me and said, that's it, church at the ark. We always have a saying here at the ark, uh, put your running shoes on because we're going to run. If you don't want to run, this is probably not the church for you because we run. And we do it literally up and down the court, but we do it metaphorically too, like in terms of doing ministry and going out and getting people. We found this building. It was uh, two businesses here, but the back part of the business, which is a metal building, was big enough to do a basketball court. And, I, and we said, if we got a basketball court, then we can transform it to be a worship center as well. Pretty much every day of the week, we have stuff going on. Uh, just about every day after school, we have elementary, junior high, and high school kids come for basketball training. Uh, Sunday nights and Wednesday nights, we have pickup basketball. Then we have Sunday morning worship, and we have Wednesday night kids and youth activities. And then throughout the week also, we have multiple small groups that are ad adults meet in. And uh, that's what I've seen with this, it's been the beautiful uh, assimilation of people that really get the message. And so we, we don't care what you look like. And so Philadelphia, Mississippi, the Choctaw Nation, uh, the, the, the Choctaws are some of the best basketball players in the state. They love basketball. They're coming to this church. African-Americans, I think it's 50%. Um, and so, so why not? This is probably one of the best places you can put a church uh, that uses the game of basketball to draw people, and it's worked. I say, first of all, we make available for people to be able to hear the good news in just about everything that we do, whether it is a basketball camp in a neighborhood or whether it's our drug alcohol recovery ministry. People are hearing it, they're believing it, and they're being saved. The other day, one of the young men that's going to be coming on Sunday, um, he walked in the door. And, and everybody that's associated with a basketball ministry celebrated because that's a huge deal. Uh, for that young man to come into this church. Uh, really, he's been asked, but we had no idea. And man, that gives me chills, man, because that's what it is. One of the great things about the partnership with the Church at the Ark and the Mississippi Baptist uh, has been definitely the resources that they've poured into us. The Margaret Lackey Fund funds the 242 Church Planning Network. The 242 Network, because of those funds, is able to support us financially. It's really a beautiful, wonderful display of God's glory through the community of faith.